It's Dr. Banjo one more time from his rural rancho on a beautiful spring day here in Niwot, Colorado. And I'm going to show you the kickoff today for a tune called Clary May that's on the new Hot Rise album, or it's not so new anymore, but on the album called When I'm Free. And the song Clary May is just worth mentioning what it's about. It's uh, about a sort of a boy meets girl, wants to take her around kind of thing. But Clary May is actually a real person. and. Uh, the song was written by uh, a son of Clary May named Harley Allen, who has left this world, but was a great singer and songwriter, and this is about the courtship of his father and his mother, and his father happened to be the great bluegrass singer Red Allen, so I love thinking of them as youngsters uh, just getting to know each other and falling in love, and that's what this song is about. So here's the kickoff as we play it on the Hot Rise record. It's just a little tag like that, and from that point on, we just deliver the song with Tim singing the lyrics. So here comes the explanation of how I do that. There's a bunch of pull-off stuff, and this is a little bit, going to be a little bit challenging, even though it's not very long. There's some moves that to make them sound right, we'll take a little bit of extra effort in the old finger department. Sorry. That's the beginning. There, I played it better that time. So I started with the index finger on the third string, and there's a hammer on, and then right away, off the string entirely, play that string open. Now it's a pull off. So you got to get those two fingers on there right away and then get a good definition on the pull off. And that's a practicable thing. And you really want to try to get real clarity and separation of individual notes to sound. This chord is an E minor, and I play the first fret with the index finger on the fourth string, and I might roll a little bit. So I notice that after I hit that hammer on, then I go with my thumb onto the fifth string, and I just roll a little bit to fill some space. I'm going to do a very similar move, and this time it's on the fourth string, it's going to lead to a D chord. Here it comes. So it's pretty much the same move. You hammer it on, and then open. My right hand index finger is playing that, but could use your thumb if you'd rather. And now it's a pull off. The thumb hits the fourth string, and the third fret of the fourth string is held by the mid, the ring, no, the middle finger, and does a pull off. Back on for one note, and that's your that's where your D chord happens. Roll that out. So let's review what we've gotten to this point on. And that's not a bad thing to just practice repeatedly, so I'm going to do it a few times in a row, and you can try that right along with me. I'm doing it nice and slow. been different volumes that I've been playing and I'm trying to play with the melody is that I'm gonna show you around I'm gonna take you away those are the lyrics so those are the notes that I'm trying to a uh, accent as much as possible and then when there's a rest going on and you're just holding a note if you're the vocalist that's when the banjo is just rolling kind of quietly 
but when it's time to actually hit the melody notes, then I'm trying to give it some real punch, so I hope you can do that too. And once we get to that D, I kind of pause or maybe just roll very lightly, but I get in this part, which is where the song goes, Clary May. And that's a banjo lick that does a good job sort of implying that Clary May. So that's just a fragment uh, that comes up a lot in a lot of bluegrass banjo where you start with the middle finger and then the index finger open and then a pull off while you're playing the first string open. And then you might finish it with any kind of a tag lick like that's kind of a standard Earl Scruggs kind of tag lick. And that's the whole break right there. So I'm going to play it again. One more time and signing off. Etc. That's how the song goes. Hope you can check it out on the album When I'm Free by Hot Rise. And that song, once again, is written by Harley Allen and it's called Clary May. <laughs>